came to their attention was Sal Catalano, who ran an Italian bakery in Queens. The FBI realized that Catalano was a key figure in the heroin trade. Suspicious packages were constantly being exchanged, probably containing either heroin or money. The FBI decided to play a waiting game in the hope they could break open the whole operation. One of the things that uh, we in the FBI, and of course all of law enforcement, wanted to know was how were they bringing the heroin into the United States at that time. Over the next five years, Russo and Rooney's surveillance operation evolved into the largest investigation the FBI had ever undertaken. Finally, after recording and translating more than 55,000 wiretaps, the team of 400 agents worked out how the Mafia smuggled heroin into America. They used uh, their businesses, uh, furniture businesses, uh, construction businesses, marble, things of that nature. In particular, the pizzeria business. They needed uh, tomatoes uh, for the uh, sauce. The Mafia had taken over pizzerias across the country and given them to immigrant Sicilians to manage. The operation was controlled by Sal Catalano from his bakery in Queens. This footage shows some of the actual restaurants implicated in the Pizza Connection trial. Restaurants just like these were used to distribute heroin around the country. The heroin arrived in the US through all kinds of routes. Their methods were often ingenious. Cases of canned tomatoes or boxes of cheese arrived from Sicily, stuffed with heroin worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. But the pizza network was not a retail operation. Mafia dealers never sold the heroin directly on the streets. Instead, the imported narcotics were divided up and sold to smaller street dealers. That way, the bosses stayed well away from the dirty end of the business. The pizza restaurants had another use as well. Catalano and his crew could hide their profits by passing them off as restaurant takings. Pretty ingenious cover. I mean, you know, who figures a pizza place? <laughs> you know, you figure you see some guy slinging the dough around making a pizza. What's he going to be involved in? Mafia dealer Henry Hill regularly used pizza 